Hi everyone, my name is Raindrops. If you're new, welcome. I hope you decide to stick around. And if you're already one of my subbies, hey y'all, happy new year and all that jazz. Um, today I am going to do a makeup tutorial, but I am also going to talk to you guys um, about getting older. And the reason that I bring this up is because I am subscribed to like hundreds of YouTubers and I'm like, where are all my YouTubers that are in like their, you know, mid, late thirties, forties? Um, I don't see them. There's only a couple. Um, I don't know any um, larger YouTubers, influencers, but I do know a couple of small YouTubers that I am subscribed to and they're in their forties. Um, Kitty Cat Loves Makeup and Claudia's Universe. Hey guys. Um, and I speak on that because I am in my 40s. Uh, no one ever knows. I get ID for a lot of things and I'm always questioned about it. Um, if you're one of my loyal subbies and you've been sticking with me for a while, you know that I have four children and one grandchild and this past October I turned 45 and I never mind shouting that out I've never had a issue with telling my age because I love it I love getting older and my face doesn't you know show it so I'm quite pleased with that I don't do anything special I don't moisturize or any of that and I don't color my hair on the sake of I have gray. I have no grays yet. And at first I was like disappointed about it because I was looking forward to getting older. And when I did get grays, I wanted to be that silver whitish, you know, sassy color. And I haven't gotten one gray yet. So yeah, I color um, my hair. I just recently, well, it's been about two months now. But um, if you are also one of my subbies, you knew that I had bleached my hair after I sh shaved it. Um, well, shit, two years prior, I had bleached my hair. Um, a year later, I shaved it off, which was last year in March. And I'm coming up on my third Big Chop anniversary. But I completely shaved my head. And then when I when it started to grow back in a little bit, I bleached it. And I did that for about two months, two and a half months. And then um, I didn't bleach it anymore, but I um, colored it a few times, um, like purple, pink. Um, I did, I can't remember. It was kind of like a ginger color, orangey color. It was pretty. Um, and then I decided to go back black because my hair is this really funny color brown. So, I have not touched it up so you'll see like little new growth like this is brown and you know, of course you know when you wet your hair or put gel on it it looks darker anyway but yeah I'm due for a color because all of my new growth and everything is brown but right on the ends um, the color faded so you can see like the lighter bleach through it and another reason that I don't do um, talk talk in my videos a lot or voiceovers is because I have two little ones. I have two boys, I have three boys all together and one girl. Um, my two oldest, my son, he's 26, my daughter is 21, and then the two last two boys are seven and three. And of course my two oldest, they live on their own um, and my daughter with her um, one year old. And they're always making noise so I don't like to, you know, have you guys hear them running around and you know all over the place so I uh, mostly play music in my um, makeup tutorials or when I do a hair tutorial and if you're digging on this protective style um, this is some hair that I had previously um, well I've had it for about six months now but I used it a couple of months ago when I did um, my space buns and uh, my buns with my faux bangs I did it and um, all I did was just rinse it out condition it and yeah I saved it. I like to 
recycle used things. I'm very thrifty. I don't like to spend a lot of money. Um, and especially when I don't need to. So this is my protective style. I just did two French braids and then I added my um, little silver clips on it and that was it. I'm trying to keep my hair um, since it's winter, just keep it protected um, until I'm, you know, getting to a certain length. My hair has grown a lot and you'll got, you guys will see um, come March when I do my one year big chop anniversary. There are not a lot of YouTubers that I'm aware of. Um, I'm subscribed to like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of YouTubers and I enjoy um, everybody's channel. And, but everybody for the most part is like in their 20s and um, I think in their early to mid 30s. And I'm like, where are all my YouTubers who are into beauty and hair and fashion that are, you know, in their 40s? And I'm like, I can't be the only one. <laughs> but there are, um, I don't know any big YouTubers who are, so if you guys, do know of any YouTubers who are in their mid-30s and up, please leave it down in the comment section. Let me know. Um, like I said, I just turned 45. This so I decided to um, do a video because I get carded a lot. I get questioned a lot. Like I said, I don't have any grays. I don't have any wrinkles. And I just, well, my eyes are a little dark because I suffer from allergies. They are hereditary. It's nothing I can do. I've tried like um, cucumbers, tea bags, the whole ice thing. And most of the time, um, it's not really bad until it acts up. And then my circles get a little bit lighter and they're not really bad, but you know, I can see them. But um, I don't wear makeup all the time. I just started wearing makeup within a couple of years ago when I started watching YouTube and seeing all of the makeup influencers and when I was when I was in my 30s is when I started like really wearing um, eyeshadows and they weren't really correctly put on but they weren't bad either because I used to get complimented all the time on how pretty the eyeshadows were um, but then I did learn watching YouTube that I needed to blend. really good at that because I've been uh, doing hair I went to school for hair um, just wasn't something I was doing I actually went to school and graduated back when I was like um, 21 22 years old I graduated and then um, I draw as well so I think that helped me out with being able to be exact with my makeup now but um yeah I want you guys to like I don't do anything special to my skin these are like my little freckles and I did have like a little breakout here um yeah in your 40s you can still get breakouts I'm allergic to a lot of food items um, that I shouldn't eat sometimes, but I haven't had anything, but I think um, my face broke out from um, a medication and it broke me out in hives. But other than that, um, as you can see, I don't, you know, really have, I don't have wrinkles. Um, little marks here are from my dimple rings. If you have been with my channel, you'll know that not only did I have my lip pierced, but I had dimple rings and I took them out a few months ago last year. And I drink a lot of herbal tea, so I'm drinking my tea. And um, I have, I'm fully covered in tattoos. Um, I was asked to do a video on them and I never did. And I have a lot of piercings. The only piercings that I have removed in the last few years um was the dimple rings and I only had them for a year but and along with my lip ring I got them done Mother's Day and I do have a video on that um but I had two tongue piercings and I took them out um just wasn't like I didn't need them anymore like you know um and they can mess up you know your teeth so I just took them out, but I still have um, two in my belly button. Both my nipple um, nipples are pierced. And yeah, um, I never had any other piercings in my face other than if you see these two little dots. Um, back in the day, I had um, the hoop going through my lip. 
Um, but other than that, nothing else. I don't moisturize per se. Um, I have very oily skin. Like I've already washed my face, but you can see the oil. And I think that um, may be one of the reasons that my skin stays moisturized already. Um, it's because I do have oily skin. So when you wear makeup sometimes or whatever, it can be a bad thing. But I guess to keep your skin looking young, it might can be, you know, a good thing. But um, I do my eyebrows. Um, I keep them shaped up. So um, I wash my face with Yardley's almond and oatmeal soap. Um, it's not really, it's, it's, it feels moisturizing going on, but it does, um, because it cleans your skin so well, it does leave it kind of dry. But I use Aveeno, because like I said, I have sensitive skin. So I like the Aveeno um, regular one that does, that's unscented, and I like the Aveeno that has the coconut in it. And as you can hear, this is why I don't do videos, because they're pretty much loud. Can you be quiet? Um, okay, okay, okay. I will, and tell your brother to get it. Sorry, but yeah, the life of a seven-year-old and a three-year-old. That's about it. Sometimes um, in the winter time, I may take um, a little of the Aveeno and you know rub it on my face to combat dryness around here because I'm only oily in here, here. So my T-zone pretty much. So it's really just this area, my forehead, my nose around here, and yeah, that's it. Again, I had to pause it <laughs> and forgot where I left off. But um, I'm going to end up just doing a part two to this video because I didn't want it to be really long. But I just wanted you guys to know, just because you get older, um, things don't per se have to change in how you look. If you perceive yourself um, with full of energy, um, you think you look nice continue to do that like you don't have to change your dress a certain way like I've always been um, not always um, as a teen and right in my early 20s I was really like conservative light and in my later 20s and this is a whole nother story and possibly I may do a story time on it I'm not sure but I started dancing. I was a stripper. Um, I started at the age of 27 and I stopped at 36, almost 37. Um, I got pregnant with my seven year old then and then I stopped. But um, yeah, no one ever knew how old I was until I actually told them. So I had, I was like full of energy. And then I started um, dressing like me like feeling me um i will wear short shorts and i still like to wear short shorts um poom poom shorts i would wear short dresses long dresses baggy jeans and um midi tops um all of that and then i changed my look up back and forth like um even now um i wear jeans i wear t-shirts if it's warm outside, I put on some shorts and some sneakers. But, like, you shouldn't, there shouldn't be, like, a definition of this is what you should just because you're older. Um, I wear what I'm comfortable in, and that's about it. If you're out there and you are getting older, embrace it. Like, embrace it. It's, um, I'm enjoying uh, my 40s outside of you know health issues that are not like um, I don't have high blood pressure or diabetes or anything like that um, but again if you have been subs subscribed to this channel for a while um, that I was involved in an accident about five years ago and, and then I developed fibromyalgia um, I have bursitis in my hips and I have six bulging discs and swelling in my back um, other than that, I don't really have, you know, any health issues. And I think my seven-year-old and my three-year-old keep me young. Um, I move around the house when I can. 
But um, yeah, you're getting older. Do you? Please don't let uh, age limits or discriminations deter you from doing what you do and how you feel about yourself. So um, with that being said, yeah, thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you decide to stick around, hit that uh, subscribe button, turn on your notification bells, hit the like button, leave me a comment, and um, stay tuned for part two. I'll be doing a makeup tutorial, and I will see you guys in the next.